What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to a new video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be detailing an engine bay, how to make it nice and clean. So I got my buddy John's car over here. Underneath the hood, it's pretty dirty. Um, one of his coolant lines blew, so it messed it all up and it's just extremely dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. So as you guys can see, one of the coolant lines blew and it just made a huge mess. Um, it's pretty dirty all around. Definitely could use a nice little detail. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that, what products to use. Anyway, let's go ahead and move the car over to where it needs to be done. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and get all the leaves out from the car. Yeah, there's a few leaves over in here. And just go ahead and take them out. It's also helpful to get some gloves. All right, so after you get your gloves on and you take out all the leaves, you're gonna go ahead and grab some Purple Power and just spray the whole engine bay down. Once it's all sprayed down, you're gonna get the pressure washer. If you have one, definitely use it after you put the Purple Power on. If not, wipe the Purple Power off. Once you spray everything down with the purple power, go ahead and turn on the car and then grab your pressure washer. All right, so now that we went ahead and sprayed down everything, go ahead and get a towel and dry it all up. All right, so once you get it pretty much dry for the most part, let it sit for a little bit. It can be on. Now, most of the time, I don't suggest pressure washing unless it's extremely, extremely dirty. And in this case, it was very, very dirty. So I went ahead and did it. Make sure the car is on if you're gonna pressure wash. Let it dry for a little bit after you do pressure wash it. Um, you wanna make sure it's as dry as possible, but you also don't wanna take forever doing it. But once it is dry, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the, the chemical that I use to make it all nice and shiny, make it look brand new. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into that part. Like I said, make sure it dries up as much as possible. Be careful when you're touching that but I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the car all right the car is off let it cool down a little bit be careful when you're doing this part the intake pretty much dry now for the most part the product that I use is this chemical guys silk shine dressing this bottle was about ten dollars for 16 fluid ounces right there I'm gonna start with this side first and show you guys the results so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your chemical guys silk shine dressing and go ahead and spray it onto a microfiber towel to avoid overspray. Once you get a little bit on there, go ahead and start scrubbing in. I would suggest starting on one side and working your way over. And go ahead and once you spray it on, go ahead and scrub down all over the place. Make sure you get as much as you can and make sure to take the spray and spray it on the actual rag. Try to get everywhere. Um, try to get as much as you can, scrub it down. And look, as you can see, it's already pretty shiny. So yeah, I did one side of this. So I did this side and this side I haven't touched. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but in person, it looks way better. Maybe right there. Unfortunately, I didn't put any tape to actually do it properly so you could see the side-by-side -side comparison, but I think this does the job still. And this part I have not done yet. And as you can see, it's not very shiny. It's still pretty dirty. The Purple Power did get a lot of the dirt off, which is the point of it. Make sure you guys use Purple Power on it or any degreaser. It really helps the process. And even right here, I already did this part and it's super shiny compared to this side. It's not as shiny. That's just the light hitting off of it. Got some dirt right over here. Shiny, dirty. All right, 
as you guys can see, it's nice and shiny. Here's, oh, right there you can kind of see the difference. Um, so this side is the side that I did. This is the side I didn't do. And right there, it's nice and shiny and then it gets all dirty. It's kind of hard to show on camera, but in person it, it's a huge, huge difference. Also, try to get most of the leaves out if you couldn't reach them. Maybe now you can. So I got a bunch of leaves over here. Don't want that. And also, you can be generous when you're spraying it on. Put a lot on. Honestly, the more the better. Also, make sure to hit the hoses also. You want to make sure you wipe those down. Um, I already wiped these down. When it comes to power steering, at least on BMWs, they like to leak a little bit and it's hard to get it off. Make sure you put a lot of purple power on this. I forgot to put a lot of purple power on this, so I made that mistake. But for the most part, try to hit it down still. Want to make it look nice and good. It looks a lot better. Make sure to get in those hard to reach spots as well. And also remember, this is a restorer also. So when it comes to like these plastics over here, uh, how it gets like all old and like it starts getting white, like old plastic, it does make it look brand new. So make sure you get every single part of plastic that looks old, white, disgusting. Oh, this is a really good angle. So here, this part's dirty and that part is clean. That's a huge, huge difference. So make sure you hit every single part. It does restore, it does make it nice and shiny. It looks brand new almost. Looks 10 times better and we're not even finished. Make sure you hit the part right over here, right next to the windshield. This part needs it too. Also guys, I do clean the actual hood. I use purple power and the silk shine so I can get all the grease off. I don't normally pressure wash the hood because I don't want it dripping down into the engine bay when I'm about to clean it. Because when it's all wet, it makes it harder to make it shiny. So I normally wait till after and I use purple power and the silk shine together with a rag. So I went ahead and finished everything. I did the hood, the whole engine bay. Sorry for the noise, but I went ahead and did the whole thing. It looks way, way better. It's kind of hard with this camera lighting right now. I'll throw up some pictures, I think, just in case this doesn't look that good. Look how nice this looks now. Looks 10 times better. It's not that hard to do. It takes about an hour. Nice little afternoon project. Clean your engine bay and you'll get results like these. Like, look how nice this looks. Let me get a, an aerial view. So you guys can see. Nice, shiny, clean, compared to before. I even did the hood. I mostly did purple power on the hood, and the rest was purple power, pressure washer, and then the silk shine from Chemical Guys. Make sure you hit every single piece of rubber or plastic. It restores it, makes it look all nice and clean, like brand new from the dealership. Ideal for selling a car. If you want help selling your car, definitely do this. When a person opens up the hood and they see how nice it looks, it essentially tells them that you take good care of your car. You took the time to clean it, take good care of it, and it just helps seal the deal. If you enjoyed this type of video, these how-tos, how to make your car look nice, new, perfect for selling, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, it greatly helps my channel. And just one last time, look how nice this looks. It looks so, so good. I'll go ahead and see you in the next one. Peace out.